Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing the film Poser, a movie that screened at the 2021 Tribeca Film Festival. Poser is directed by Ori Sejev and Noah Dixon, written by Noah Dixon and stars Sylvie Mix, Bobby Kitten, Abdul Seydou, Drew Johnson and Rachel Kiefer. This is a Poser movie review and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Poser film review as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon. Link in the description. Jealous dynamics can exist anywhere, regardless the size of the microcosm. Sometimes it's within an entire culture, other times it's among just a handful of friends. Most times it's both. Poser, the feature debut from the Columbus-based production house Loose Films, is a peek into the intramural relationships within the Ohio City's underground music scene and what happens when the desire for acceptance overtakes authenticity. Clad with aqua green ombres and ballpoint tats that together scream crusty sea punk, Lennon snakes her way through the musty basements and cavernous warehouses of Columbus that play host to the low-budget pop-up shows of the city's independent music culture. Obsessed with music as the name she shares with a famous British musician may suggest, but rather out of the local scene's loop, she starts a podcast both to document it and to serve as her in route. Adorned with headphones and her smartphone as the mic, she samples the offerings from indie rock to alt folk to queer death pop as research for the pod, jotting down tidbits in her bound notebook whenever she can. Lennon's non-threatening stature and quiet demeanor makes it easy for people to talk to her and vice versa, as she frequently likes to reinforce that these interviews move her out of her comfort zone. Catching the eye of the poetic Mika and the energetic Bobby Kitten, playing a fictionalized version of herself, Lennon is soon brought into the central fold of a music scene consisting of numerous secret shows, rambunctious hangouts, and copious smokes. She starts to open herself up emotionally too, allowing Bobby to be a bouncing board for her own lyrical ambitions. But the longer she's in the company and the more vulnerable Lennon makes herself, the more Bobby begins to pick up some weird vibes, particularly when she begins hearing Lennon's lyrics at shows besides her own. Bobby wonders what's really in Lennon's notebook, and if the existence of her podcast is nothing but a nefarious ruse. What makes Lennon's turn so freaky in its scope is how well she plays her hustle, Despite her cluelessness, or at least her appearance as such, her initial approach parallels the music scene in terms of a similar aesthetics and ethos, that is, a minimalist, DIY, do-what-you-can-with-what-you-have one, disconnected from capital interests and done solely for love of the medium. Lennon's supposed penchant for lo-fi sound and honesty, i.e. how she records interviews digitally only to re-record them on a tape deck, is echoed by directors Ori Segev and Noah Dixon's lightweight style, with Logan Floyd's atmospheric cinematography and a soundtrack composed of Columbus's underground's finest, including the featured Bobby Kidden's duo Damn the Witch Siren. Poser highlights the visceral and mysterious energy that these underground shows exude, while also feeling authentic and truthful in its embrace of the avant-garde weirdos that are the lifeblood of such a counterculture. To then spin that around just as Lennon does, from a curious obsession to a destructive one, and even towing the line into psychological horror in doing so, makes its climax all the more unsettling. And yet, that turn is also Poser's crux, it's a violent shift into another approach that feels stylistically more sinister, but in a hurried way. It's not unwelcome, nor wholly ineffective. On the contrary, it's where the film becomes all the more alluring by suggesting a more ethereal meditation on obsession beyond the realms that grungy arthouse drama can provide. However, it feels like an undeserved transformation, especially given Mix's lo-fi, disaffected portrayal of Lennon from the get-go. 
Seeing as the film focuses on envy, Mix's performance could be seen as thematically plausible, i.e. someone who is a nobody fully usurping a somebody. But the overall primitive setup as such makes Poser's ultimate morality play feel less than robust. Regardless, Poser is a marvelous debut for Segov and Dixon that showcases the propensity for big personalities in the smallest of places. It's as much a love letter to Midwestern artist culture as much of it is a soft critique of it, filled with industrial skylines and pulse-pounding tracks, a great mix for a cinematic chill sesh. And that brings us to the conclusion of this Poser movie reviewer. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comment section. If you liked what you heard during my review, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for viewing and you can watch one of these reviews next.